डॉक्टर योगेश वैद्य कंसल्टंट जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट एंड ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन प्रैक्टिसिंग एट पिनाकल ऑर्थो सेंटर हॉस्पिटल थाने टुडे आई एम हियर टू टेल यू अबाउट वेरियस टाइप ऑफ नी इम्प्लांट्स विच आर एवेलेबल फॉर टोटल नी आर्थ्रोप्लास्टी सो वेन यूर अ पेशेंट कम्स टू आर क्लिनिक फॉर टोटल नी आर्थ्रोप्लास्टी ही आस्क एस वॉट आर द वेरियस इम्प्लांट ऑप्शन दैट आर एवेलेबल फॉर मी वॉट इज द लाइफ ऑफ दीज इम्प्लांट्स दैट आर एवेलेबल टूडे इन द मार्केट so to know uh, the answers to all these questions let us first understand what is the normal anatomy of the knee joint so our knee joint is an articulation between three different bones one is the thigh bone or the femur the leg bone or the tibia and the patella or the... so in elderly patients what happens is that there is a degeneration of the articular cartilage so if you see the articular end of the bone is covered with this white kind of a smooth coating or the articular cartilage as the age advances the cartilage gets worn off and so the underlying subchondral bone as you see here this reddish or brownish color bone starts to get exposed so when these kind of eroded bone surface rub against each other patient starts to experience pain so this arthritis now again can be either a unicompartmental arthritis wherein it is only limited to one compartment typically more commonly the medial compartment or a tri compartmental one in which all the three compartments are involved very rarely isolated patellofemoral joint can be involved in case of patellofemoral arthritis so now what are the various options that are available so if the patient comes to us with selectively antero medial osteoarthritis or medial compartmental osteoarthritis we can offer him a unicompartmental total uh, unicompartmental arthro um, uh, knee arthroplasty in which only the medial compartment or only the one compartment of the knee is replaced whereas if the patient comes to us at a later stage or advanced stage wherein all the three compartments are involved then we have to offer him a total knee replacement wherein all the three components are replaced that is the femur uh, is replaced the tibia is replaced and the patella is replaced so what are the different methods of fixing the implants into the patient's body the commonly the gold standard is the cemented total knee replacement in which we use a bone cement or a polymethyl methacrylate to fix the implant to the bone in western countries there are some centers which do uncemented total knee arthroplasty but then in india this option is not available again now what are the different types of total knee arthroplasty depending upon the metals which are available so the most commonly one used is the cobalt chrome if you see over here this is the cobalt chrome femur and the highly polished titanium or the tbl tray which is used so this combination is of cobalt chrome and titanium in between them there is a plastic liner which is made up of highly cross linked polyethylene or vitamin e enriched polyethylene so these are the three components this is a patellar button which is used to replace the patella again depending upon the fixation of the plastic in the tbl tray there are again two different types one is a mobile bearing in which the plastic is free to rotate in the tbl tray or there is another type which is called as a fixed bearing in which this is um, the uh, plastic is fixed to the tbl tray so there are two different types depending upon the mobility one is the mobile bearing and another is a fixed bearing again in the fixed bearing there are different types in the fixed bearing you we can have a all poly in which the uh, entire tbl there is no metallic tbl tray whereas the entire thing is made up of plastic this is called as all poly tbl uh, tray this is also one option another is a factory molded or a compression molded poly in which the tbl tray and the uh, plastic are uh, molded and fitted within the factory so it comes as a one piece when it comes to us and the third option is a modular tbl tray in which the tbl tray is separate and the plastic is separate so depending upon the size which is required we can have different permutation and combination so you'll ask me what is the reason to have this kind of a fixed bearing or a mobile bearing or a compression molded poly and of versus a fixed poly so it is shown that there is something called as a back side wear you know this back side of the polyethylene rubs against the tbl tray and produces some wear particles which result in the loosening of the tbl uh, and the femoral implants so if it is a compression molded or a single uh, unit or like a all poly the it is shown that the back side wear in these cases is less 
again if you ask me what are the newer options that are available because we see nowadays more and more younger patients coming to us for knee replacement so we have this kind of a coating which is done on the cobalt chrome which is called as oxinium this is oxidized zirconium which is a special technology in which the uh, coating of oxidized zirconium is made on the femoral implant so this gives it more longevity and more hardness and less wear this is typically used in patients who are known to have metal allergies because many of the times we are faced in scenarios that patients have allergy to some or the other metals the commonest one is the nickel which is used in this uh, manufacturing of these knee implants another option which is there is the gold knee or again this is a not a golden one it is not made of gold but then the yellowish color which is there that gives the name gold knee so what exactly it is it is a coating of titanium niobium dinitride which is again uh, given over the cobalt chrome the femoral uh, implant so again this gives it more longevity and less allergic reactions so these newer implants have shown to have a life expectancy up to about 20 25 years in the patient's body so friends in case you have any further queries or you need any clarification upon depending upon the type of implants or what the material you can feel free to contact us or you can visit our website hope this was helpful thank you <laughs>